Welcome to Buy Fires YouTube. Today we're gonna have an adventure over here at Downtown Disney. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at the Caliber. Please subscribe, hit the like button, fire it up. I'm the main host, Mondo. Let's do this. I actually had a chance to see Raya and the Last Dragon recently at the movie theaters. And let me tell you about it. The movie brought so much emotion out of me, especially during like the middle to the last half of the movie. I cried like two times, I'm not gonna lie. It's very emotional, strong, powerful movie. If you haven't seen Ryan the Last Dragon, highly recommend watching it at home. If you're not like comfortable enough going to a movie theater, you definitely watch that on Disney Plus. I think it's like 30 bucks, 25 bucks to rent it. But uh, if you are willing to go to the movie theater, it is beautiful in the movie theater. Very powerful, powerful movie. I give that five fires. Highly recommend Riot and the Last Dragon. So today we're gonna have an adventure over here at Downtown Disney. We're definitely gonna be going to World of Disney, seeing what's new with the merch. And then we're gonna see Disneyland up close and personal. See if there's any updates to see from the front gate, because that's as close as we could get. All right, let's fire it up. One thing that is still up and running are the eggs, the Easter egg hunt, which is the extravaganza over here at Downtown Disney. A lot of people are actually doing that. That was a very popular thing that was done during the Easter time and even till now this week. I guess it's spring break, so definitely be ready for a crowded Downtown Disney. It's gonna be a very lively Downtown Disney this week. Over here at Jazz Kitchen Express, they do have some new beignets. They're called the Banana Foster Glaze Beignets. Look at all these ingredients. I mean, this is what it looks like. Making our way to Marceline's Confectionery, just seeing what treats are being made. How the magic happens. Got a lot of Minnie Mouse going on. Oh, damn. So cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Those apples look so good today. For today's first adventure, we're going to World of Disney. Hopefully there's a lot of new items to talk about today. Hey, how you doing? It's been a while since I've been to World of Disney, so there might be a lot of new stuff today. We have a new new emo that has arrived. We need the poo. Got some new clothes as well. Pretty sure they're all still like $17.99. I don't know if they've upped the price. Why not $12.99? So these vary. We also got a new new emo. This one's $17.99, just like the Winnie the Pooh, but we have Tigger. Uh, I'm not sure what clothes is themed to Tigger himself, but these are the new items that have arrived. Definitely a lot of emphasis going on on the new emos. We have more new items that have arrived. We have Piglet. Look at Piglet. This is so cool. And then Eeyore. Oh, look at Eeyore. <laughs> A dreamer. This is cool. I will say, I'm glad I got out of the new emo game. This will definitely take a dent in your pocket. <laughs> so we're just at the entrance of World of Disney right now. Just wanna show off all the bling bling that's going on. All this rose gold beauty. They even got this rose gold sequence backpack. These used to be the hottest thing in the world back then. Now they just, they just sit here. <laughs> just checking out all the ears that they currently have over here at World of Disney. And this is the middle area. I feel like these are the new ones. These were the perfect ears to wear for Easter time. Let me tell you, this sequence is sharp. <laughs> it's kind of pokey to be honest, but hopefully that headband, the headband keeps you protected. But these are the pastel ears that have arrived. Very, very nice. Thing sold for $29.99 over here at World of Disney. I like these. It's just the sequence is so spiky. So watch out, everybody. Definitely try these on before you buy them. Don't just buy them on impulse. We also got a new backpack that has arrived. It's inside out themed with all the characters from the movie. That is so cool. Look at that. A lot of detail. Then let's see if it goes to the back. Oh, it does go to the back side. And it's being sold for 75 bucks. If you are interested and you still get your discount. Also over here at this Pixar section of World of Disney, 
They have these like balls that just spin. I don't know if it, it, it's probably a keychain, but let me show you. <laughs> and they're being sold for twelve ninety nine. It's pretty cool. So I know this is not new, but it's the first time I've seen it here at World of Disney in a long time. They got this Pirates of Caribbean lounge fly. That's the part where they're whistling at the dog. <laughs> 75 bucks. Pretty nice for all the pirate fans. And then they also got this Marvel one. This one's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy inspired. A lot of lounge fly today. This one's old too, but it's making its comeback over here at World of Disney. Over here next to the registers on the right side of World of Disney, this is where they have the pins located. And they have so much to choose from. All the limited edition stuff's here too. Let me show you the new Raya stuff. So they have new Raya pins. It's a limited release as well, so it's stronger together. Oh, nice it's cool that all these characters make sense to me now. Only because I've watched the movie. Fearless, fantastic, and fuzzy. <laughs> Maybe we got a Zootopia, a Tangled. Oh, got Hunchback. That's so cool. We got Emperor's New Groove. When do you see that? That's so cool. And then they got these. Here we got a Jungle Cruise adventure game. The crazy part about Jungle Cruise, and we were talking about this on Speculation Sunday, is that they have already started working on Jungle Cruise over here at Disneyland, California. And they will be working on Jungle Cruise Walt Disney World, but won't be shutting that one down. They'll just be working on it as the ride is open. But for Disneyland's version, it has shut down. Uh, this was all speculation. We'll all find out April 30th if Jungle Cruise does uh, have a shutdown or if it's open. But the speculation is that it's already been closed and they're already working on this ride to transform into the new version uh, with the monkeys monkeying around. Pretty cool. Only time will tell, so I'm very excited for that update. Very busy day over here at World of Disney. We have some new plushes that have arrived, some Marvel characters. We have Captain America. I am Groot. And then we also got a Black Panther. This is so cool. I wonder how much they are. They're $19.99 before discount. Making my way over here by the Star Wars section of World of Disney. Yeah. Showcasing some of the shirts. And here we got the Baby Yoda section. And then we got some Stormtrooper jacket. Oh, look at the hats. Whoa. <laughs> Here we have some of the Star Wars spirit jerseys. I feel like this is new. It's only in kid size. Why can't we get an adult version of that? That is so cool. Let me show you the front end of this one. It's the Darth Vader. So cool. That one's $69.99. And here we got more Star Wars merch. And then they got a lot of Funkos. Honto Naka. TJ Brooks. Got some clones. Luke Skywalker. Wow, that's random. And then K2SO. So some new plushes have arrived. We have Winnie the Pooh. Being sold for $26.99. And then if you buy two, you get them for 22. So definitely get two. Aw, I think this one's Bambi. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Bambi on this one. <laughs> and then, oh, is this Marie? We go to Marie. Oh, a lot of detail on Marie. And Marie is also 26.99. One of my favorite plushes of all time, Sorcerer Mickey. And Mickey's being sold for $29.99. This is my favorite plush doll. Favorite plush doll of all time right there. We have some new Dalmatians that have arrived over here at World of Disney. This one's actually really cute. 
I don't think it has a name, but it's twenty six ninety nine if you are interested. All right. So how can you tell it's lucky? Because it's his horseshoe on the back, and um, if you look on the back of his the flush, it's a horseshoe, and that stands for lucky. That's ah. how I got the name lucky in the Dalmatians movie. No way. There it is. Because I was saying I had no name. <laughs> but thank you. Appreciate it. So this one's lucky. I wonder if they're all the same. We just got a bunch of luckies. Yeah, I think they're all luckies. That's pretty cool. Thanks for the info. Just wanted to check out what ears are available over here on this side of World of Disney. I don't see anything new, but I do want to mention these. Uh, I know these, I think, arrived last week. And they've been definitely very popular. They've been selling pretty quickly. But these are actually nice with the pleather. These are also $29.99. And then I think these this sequence of the donut ears have also arrived too. Over here at World of Disney, right by the exit. They do got a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas items available. So I just wanna let people know, I know we have a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas fans. So they do sell this stuff all year round now. Here we got a beanie, this really nice sweater. And then right behind me, we got this shirt. No glow. And then Oogie Boogie himself. So I just got done with World of Disney. Now we're on our way over here to the Disneyland Esplanade and we're gonna check out Disneyland updates. I got confused. I was like, why is there people coming out of the tram area? <laughs> I forgot there's uh, a touch of Disney today on Mondays. It's about 12.08 right now. So these people all just parked as the parking structure opens at 11.30. And then they walk down. And then they're getting in queue for Disney California Adventure Touch of Disney. Making our way over here to Disneyland. We got some refurbishment going on over here at the Bricks. Looks like they're possibly refurbishing the gate as well. Huh. So even though we're in April, Disney is still making lots of moves. And just getting everything up to date, everything ready and beautiful for opening day of Disneyland, April 30th. And still up to this point, we got zero, zero confirmation when tickets are going live. I know it's the number one question. When are tickets going live? We have no idea. <laughs> we keep thinking it's soon because what? It's already like April 5th, but nothing. We've heard nothing. Probably lots of training going on. I could just imagine the, the amount of training that's going on beyond these gates is, is probably incredible. Uh, so many people are coming back to work now over here at Disneyland Resort, getting ready for April 30th. Such a big week. And then the week of April 30th, there's gonna be some soft openings for probably media uh, and neighbor guest, I guess is what they called it. Who knows if that means like actual neighbors <laughs> that live around here? Or if that means like bloggers, YouTubers, Instagrammers, uh, TikTok people, I don't know. Only time will tell. It's really cool to get a nice view into Disneyland itself. I know that recently uh, my buddy Paul caught them tr uh, testing the horses, testing uh, the, the trolley, I think was one of the, the things that was being tested as well. There's just a lot of testing going on over here now. But they are refurbishing over here on this end. We'll see if they do the whole gate or not. So it looks like they're just going to sand down everything and just repaint it. So it's uh, just a simple, simple repaint job. I think that probably happens once or twice a year. You could just imagine. Oh, they do. It's about 12.15 now. And here we got a lot of people getting ready for a touch of Disney. It's just so crazy to see people lined up to go in a Disney California Adventure. But it's only for touch of Disney, which is a food festival and shopping experience. No rides, no rides currently. But the big day, April 30th. Can't wait, can't wait. I hope I get a ticket April 30th <laughs> for the grand reopening of Disneyland. Well, let's get some good views at the uh, refurbished Mickey Mouse over here, looking beautiful. So 
So we got a new poster that has arrived over here at the entrance of Dizzy right there on the right hand side. I know it's really hard to make out because there's this plexiglass right here, but it's an enchanted wish or Snow White's enchanted wish. So it's themed off the new ride. And it's just uh, of all the, the, the characters around Snow White. And then also most importantly, we got some training going on over here. So cool. So much action going on at the front of Disneyland. Thank you guys for watching Five Fires YouTube. Appreciate all the support. Don't forget to hit the like button. And thank you for supporting the fire. We are burning it down, burning it down. The Cali Bay is calling it a day. I'm the main host, Mondo. Ah. <laughs>